Welcome to the Silicon Valley Marketing Minute. Brought to you by the Silicon Valley American Marketing Association. Stay connected, stay informed. And Choreography, full-service audio webinar and video webcast production. The following video is from a Silicon Valley American Marketing Association panel event. change dramatically. I don't think there is one today methodology that tracks all this um, uh, stuff from whether it's a uh, engagement factor, a uh, sales factor, a growth factor. It's absolutely, you got to monitor them all. I mean, if I look at in the central organization, we have 15 people full time that do nothing other than monitor social media. Well, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, worldwide. So I would answer that a little um, differently for it. our company. What we did was to do persona development, mm -hmm. to make sure that we really understood who our target market was. And then as you develop those personas, and we ended up with about 17 different personas, um, and we actually put them into three groups, we really looked at where are they. And I think it's a mistake if you just think social media, at least in, in the B2B that I'm in with a high tech audience, they're in social media, but they're also in traditional media, they're online. Um, you can reach them so many different ways. So it's just really about figuring out who your target audience is, getting that persona down, understanding where they are, and going after them where they are. And that weeds out a heck of a lot. You know, one thing, um, you know, I'm not in the role of a marketer these days, and I've always been sort of an oddball marketer, because um, I've always done what we now call community marketing, is one thing that I'm always taken with, and I know it's a difficult challenge, as was, as was brilliantly outlined over here, is that marketers tend to abstract their customers to a fault. And I think what the Comcast Cares um, example shows that you can get a really far away by just treating them as, you know, we use words like authentic and transparent and relationship, but what does that really mean? And what I very, we're in a continuum right now as opposed to episodic. I think marketers are very used to dealing in episodic ways. Um, I don't think there's any such thing as a social media marketing campaign. If you're in a relationship, it's going, it's a continuum. And I think that's the difficulty that marketers face, A, and B, um, the skill sets in the marketing organization and the silos and the way things are structured don't match up with the industry. So the example I'd like to give is if you're in a relationship with your customer, what unfortunately most marketers do is, you know, the equivalent of ignore me, ignore me, ignore me, flowers on Valentine's Day, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me, Super Bowl ad, you know. That's sort of the way. And I think it's a challenge because the marketing isn't usually staffed the way and I just pointed out with 15 people listening and communicating back. It's very much a push. It's ads, not acts. And what I would have told J&J &J was to just have one blog post, if they had a blog at the time, and to say, I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> you know the good thing is if you're in a relationship, you can fight and make up. Um, that's the beauty of the dialogue. Everyone just sort of stops at the yelling part. And I think it's a really new set of muscles that marketers need to sort of build up. 